make sure you watch the entire video for this one because we're trying to edit one photo and then we're gonna take those settings and then apply it onto this photo here. Editing one photo is one thing and then knowing how to apply that to a different image and make the necessary adjustments is really important. So make sure you watch through the entire edit. And yeah, you guys really, really like his style. You always request more on him and the videos always get tons of views. So as always, his links are down in the description. So go give them a follow down there and let them know you found them through this tutorial. If we come down, you'll see the images we're going to be working with here. So obviously a lot of warm Mac throughout the image and a lot of vibrance to the colors, really warm tones, really rich tones. So that's what we're going to be trying to achieve. And yeah, really, really awesome work guys. I uh, love that photo there. Yeah. And let's get into this one and everyone inside of the course has access to the raw image to follow along in this tutorial and if you want the settings for this tutorial watch through the entire video and you'll see a code pop up the top left and you'll use that code and you'll be able to get the settings for this tutorial um, because some of them are quite tricky to copy and you can just relax and watch the video and actually learn a few things one make sure you take my free lesson on color and the curves so following all my tutorials on youtube is going to be very hard if you don't know color theory and the curves the two biggest things uh, watch that free training also I have an entire course on color color advanced things in Lightroom beginner things in Lightroom a ton of guest editors in the course as well which has created just the number one resource in the world to learn photo editing and master color master contrast and create the exact style you want links down in the description for that as well let's get into this one 55 mil iso 500 100 f 1.8 a shutter of 1600 nothing crazy going on then it was on a sigma 1.4 so showing you the cropping so sort i've of cropped in a lot there just maybe filling the frame a bit more we are going to brighten it and we're going to bring in warmth his images always have a lot of warmth and then we're going to bring in the cool tones so the cool tones are brought in with the curves here so if we just turn these on some of the cool tones are pulled in through the curve here. Got a bit of blue coming in and increasing towards the highlights. That's the only color change there is. This one is bringing down the exposure and putting a bit of that fade in the curves as well. And then this one is also helping out. So just adding like a bit of contrast in the darker areas, um, flattening those highlights. So that's the curves come straight down to split toning because I think this will be quite important for us to get our tones. So for shadows, I'm gonna go for a nice blue. So let's just bump this up to about 13. Then as for the highlights, we're just going to go for a warm and cool split. Bump this up, split turning on and off. So we just cooled it off a bit. It's gone a bit a bit more green, but let's carry on. Bit of contrast, bit of crisp, some clarity, sometimes a dehaze to get it can help with the like a Mac look a little bit. Bring him down the dehaze there. Just bump up saturation a bit. Uh, right, so whites, just see how that flattens the image. So we'll just bring them down a bit and then he doesn't have much contrast to his images. So we'll just keep that about there. So our tones look a bit quite off at the moment. So, so if we just come down to calibration, let's shift the red to the left and you can see that introduces, introduces way more reds and purples. So we're just gonna go this way because at the moment it does look very green all over. So we'll go this way and then going this way also introduces a lot of purple and redness. So we're going to go touch that way with the blue primary as well. Fine tune things here in the HSL and then we should be able to get our tones perfect. Rich oranges so they look a little red, a little purple. Let's go this way. Yellows, want these nice greens. Aquas, so not many in this image, but he does have really nice teals throughout his images. So we'll go a little that way. No aquas. Um, and then reds, just looking at the skin. So we want to make sure we keep a bit of red, like in the lips and then the darker skin tones. Greens. Greens are important, but as you can see, I think our yellows also play a really big role there. Let's bring up the luminance, so the brightness of colors is luminance. 
yellows, Let's up the brightness, oranges. So we want like this light hitting our subject mainly. Playing with the reds as well. I think really shines. Subject. And then just up the reds, oranges. And then we want these pale blues. Like they're very, very saturated and, and look quite yellow at the moment. But once we desaturate them, they'll get this more bluey green. We'll just come back up top. We'll do is up the vibrance and saturation up here as well. And back down. Just trying to match them up. Maybe could have left it on, but we'll we'll put in the vignette here. So let's go with a pretty decent vignette roundness, maybe a touch. And what we need is quite a bit of grain just for the texture of the image. Now there is a bug in Lightroom. I don't know why, but we have to bring up the grain to a crazy amount for us to see it on the computer screen. But once you, if I exported it, it would be crazy grainy. So don't put it up this much. To see it in Lightroom currently, we need to bring it up because of a bug to sharpening. Decent amount, it was shot at 1.8, so pretty sharp, but we have also cropped in a lot. And then masking, so if we hold option, you can see where that's sharpening, we want to bring it up. And then we should be looking pretty good in terms of sharpness. We might want slightly darker blacks, so bringing this down to slightly darker shadows. Probably about there, I want to see the same detail. Highlights, you can see the highlights can help get the Mac look as well. Might go out there. So I think we're pretty good here. The only thing that's annoying me is that we're not getting the same texture as him because of that bug in Lightroom. If we look at some filters that are already done, so we've got this one here on the subject. Uh, as you can see, it's just a bit of exposure. So all what we're doing here is just bringing out the subject ever so slightly with this filter. Over here, I go, Hide. You can see it's a bit bright over to the left. So we just dimmed that down with that filter. This one here. This one we are over top of the surfboard just because it was holding a lot of color. So maybe even bring that down some more. Just desaturating it a bit. And then we got this one coming from the bottom, like kind of just brightening, really exaggerating that light coming through sort of hitting our subject just exaggerating the light and yeah and as i said we're gonna now go on to this image over here so what we'll do what we'll do now is just grab this copy settings grab basically everything so copy come over to the other image we'll go paste we got very much there now we'll just go over um a tiny a bit adjustments we want it to have a little more pop so whites i'm just gonna bring that up touch more warmth and then and then I might come down and just take out a bit of saturation of the greens maybe bring them up there and then playing around with the luminance I think yellows but up a bit just for a bit more shine we just need a little radial filter smack bang in the middle we just remove a bit more brightness to the middle brush on the glasses we'll just desaturate that just because they're looking a little vibrant i'm pretty happy with that maybe widen this and then again with the texture we're struggling a little bit can't even see the grain as before so if we go reset here's after I think it looks great uncropped as well. I think that still looks great. Maybe needs a bit more vignetting for and after 
of that one there. Remember everyone inside the course has access to the raw image so you can get the exact same results, really helps the learning process. That's why I go through such an extent to make sure the raw images are available inside my course particularly because I know that's what helped me learn a lot and just make sure you watch my free training on color and the curves and that will set you up really well because as I see it those are the two main things you need to know before even starting your photo editing journey and if you just really want to fast track your learning and you want everything in a streamed line curriculum and all the little things I think about when I edit a photo all the things that I don't think are taught anywhere else online inside my course I've made sure it's the number one resource for you to master color master contrast and get to the style you want a lot quicker and we have over 500 students now with a ton of testimonials come over to martinshredder.com check out the testimonials check out the guest editors as well that are teaching in there where you get the raw image you get the preset and you follow along with them a million times better than watching YouTube tutorials that are trying to sell you their preset sets and if you're a video shooter it will dramatically help your video color grading as well make sure you follow him down in the description follow the course instagram page as well and comment people you want to see on this youtube channel because then i can reach out to them on youtube and ask them to be a part of this youtube channel and do a tutorial on but thanks for watching guys if i didn't have your videos i think those guest editors would not be of much help because they're doing stuff i would not understand you know your guidance so yeah. i think it's the combination that that really makes it valuable that's awesome exactly what i go for there i really like how you structured it even when you're watching a guest editor it's hard to you can see it and that that in itself is huge but then trying to understand you know what's in their mind why have they done that i think that can help you understand that that can help you create your own style that can help you be more deliberate and you know choose all these little building blocks to make your own uh, you know when when you define that so i find that and, and, and your kind of search for like the why you're doing that not just this is how is is, is super super useful and powerful